Season 8 and Season 9 I absolutely loved. Thank you. Uh, did you enjoy transforming Crowley from the King of Hell into a, basically a drug addict? That, um, you didn't transform him so. from the King of Hell into a mm -hmm. drug addict. The King of Hell is a drug addict. Or was rendered to be a drug addict. Very interesting concept. Mm -hmm. the, the idea of addiction. And the subsequent idea of Dean's addiction in, in the last season, which is, I think, a very very interesting place to go mm -hmm. you know what is humanity what are we but, but, but a lot of you know, the concept is very interesting to did you enjoy it? I did Good. that was the idea <laughs> what does Crowley want at this point do you oh think? who knows <laughs> you'll find out though. you always find out well how is how is he going to take advantage of Dean's circumstances in a very Crowley-esque way <laughs> Why would I tell you? Keeping the cards very <laughs> close. I don't have any cards. The guy with the glasses has the cards. <laughs> Ask that man with the glasses. Well, it seemed like they got pretty close, Dean and Crowley, within the last season, or as, maybe as close as they're going to get. How do you? How would you describe where their relationship is going in season two? Close. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is a season regular now? Um, how much improv? Are Series you doing regular. Well? Uh, you seem to have a lot more involvement. We're seeing you a lot more in the story now. Um, Before I was a series regular. You haven't seen me as a series regular yet. Yeah. <laughs> series, I'm a series regular in season 10, so you've only ever seen me as a guest star. So. Okay. But I, I, I think that Crowley's position has, has sort of increased in the canon, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have no idea what's in store. Do you if I did, I wouldn't of, tell you. Do you bring a lot of improv to the character? Do I bring a lot of improv? We have amazing writers on the show. Okay. And... They work so hard to provide me with dialogue that is just, that makes them giggle, makes me giggle, mm -hmm. makes you giggle, ultimately. Yeah. That's the path. The path is that they're giggling with it. They give it to me and they're hoping I giggle with it and then I get to giggle with it and then you guys get to giggle with it. So mm -hmm. That's maybe the, the easiest description of it. But there's been stuff that's come up, but only really situational things. I mean, you know, you're good, but I'm Crowley is a product of me having to get off the ground and keep the kid's attention while he's trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. um, it was just, you know, bad amount of conversation. You want to say something? It was, it was a physical thing. It's not actually in the script mm -hmm. because in the script I'm not being, I'm not being helped up. It's like it changes. Mm -hmm. But it's, all, it's technical things. They're great writers, great people. They fight over my dialogue. I know they do. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him. That's the, have you talked to him yet? Yes. Yeah. You have? Oh, you lost, see, you lost all the opportunities yeah. to talk to you. These are the questions you should have asked. Um, are we going to return to the storyline of Crowley's son since Crowley made the decision? Guy with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you can tease? No, never will. Mm -hmm. She's done like, the worst interview that way. Looks like go back to the breakfast cereal question, guys. No. Um, you guys done your promotion this year, right? I don't know that it's a promotion. But thank a little you. bit. I don't know that it is. <laughs> it's complicated. But um, no, it's just appreciate it. It's a, it's a, it's, I think it's a practicality you see more than anything else. But um, I was never, I don't, I don't feel any more loved or any less loved in any, either position. Um, Are you going to sing in the musical 200 episode? <laughs> Would you like to sing? In the musical, would you like to? Are you an avid TV watcher? Am I an avid TV yeah. watcher? TV watcher? Yeah, I can be. Okay. So I go through phases of it. Uh, what would you say would be one of the you know televisions that really capture you this season? This season? Any Not got to see a lot of this season stuff, but but no, I mean, yeah. in the Breaking Bad was fabulous. I thought True Detective was amazing. I thought uh, there's a lot of things. Watching a lot of uh, shipping wars. <laughs> <laughs> Have you shipped yourself? Before? You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the biggest challenge of playing Crowley, and is it something that's changed throughout the seasons? The biggest challenge? Mm -hmm. It's the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it and enjoy it and love it. That's what I do. You'll never find anything out. I'll never tell you the truth anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's going to grow wings and fly and be an angel next year. <laughs>